Hey YouTube, Chris Grant from ClearTheShelf.com here and today we're going to be talking about using Tactical Bucket to create a multi-site bulk list to use with Tactical Arbitrage. This is a wicked awesome feature of Tactical Bucket. Let's dive in. All right, welcome back. Let's dig into the multi-store bulk list generator inside of Tactical Bucket. This is one of my absolute favorite features. There's so many ways to parse data in here uh, and be able to create yourself bulk lists. It's not funny. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the features here, and then I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this, uh, especially the way that I do it personally for my tactical arbitrage account. So what you're able to do here is you're able to select 100, select 500, select all. This is a really sweet feature. You can save to a CSV. So what this will do <clears throat> is if you have, let's say 100, uh, categories selected from multiple domains, you can save that to one CSV and be able to upload that to Tactical Arbitrage. Now, let's say that you actually want to go in and grab every single supplements category. So you want to grab everything that where they might sell supplements. You're going to get several thousand subcategories from different sites inside of Tactical Arbitrage. With the save to multiple CSVs option, it's going to save it to multiple CSV files that you can upload to Tactical Arbitrage in sets of 500 subcategories. Uh, so this is really awesome. You'll be able to create yourself uh, several bulk lists uh, so that you can go in and you could run 10 scans at one time uh, through multi-domain sites. Uh, by using this along with multi-scan and Tactical Arbitrage, there's absolutely no reason that you should not be able to find anything, even if you're not using discount gift cards and uh, cash back. And now I would suggest that you use those, but doing this, you're gonna be going through so much data, it's going to be insane. So let's go in and I will show you exactly how to use this. Uh, right here, we can choose whether or not you include XPath sites. Now for today, we're going to exclude XPath site. So we'll put the little X there. And then the other thing we're going to do today is I think we're going to do just UPC sites. All right. Then we're going to go in here. We're going to grab USA. You will notice that this works in every single marketplace. Tactical Bucket has every site from every marketplace in here and ready to go. Uh, so you can use this in the US. You can use it in Mexico, Australia, all around the world. Okay. So, but today we're going to use US. Now we're going to go in and we're going to do a category search. As of right now with the settings, the way that I have them, there are way too many categories. So we're just going to go in and we're going to type supplement. All right. We're going to let this load for a second. And what we're going to see here is that with UPC sites and the word supplement, I have 2,252 subcategories. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and we're going to see down here at the bottom that gives me 2,252 rows selected. Now, if I, if I click save to multiple CSVs, this is going to give me a bunch of CSV files ready to go for tactical arbitrage for me to upload into product search. Okay. Now, the other thing that you can do here is you can actually... Uh, filter these. So let's say that I want to have the product count by the smallest uh, category first. Maybe I want to have it by the largest category first. So we can see eBay, Bonanza, and Fish Pond, and another eBay are all at the top. Then right after that, I've got Walmart here. Okay. Uh, I can filter by the source domain. So I've got it in alphabetical and reverse alphabetical order. Then I can go category name. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to filter by source domain. Now, let's say, for example, that I don't want 1,000 bulbs on here. All I have to do is deselect 1,000 bulbs. Let me grab these out of here. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I don't want any bonanza. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to deselect all of the bonanza. Okay. Then let's just say for giggles, I'm going to go over and remove, let's 
see here. iHerb is a good one. Lucky Vitamin's good. Let's just say Mary's Tack. I don't, I don't want anything for, uh, for the pets. So I'm going to take out Mary's Tack. Okay. So now we can see I've got 2,223 rows. If I select Save to Multiple CSVs, it's going to download a zip archive for me called Multi. I'm going to save that. And I can go in and open this up. Now, let me open this up so you can take a look at it. Downloads. Multi. Here we go. So now I have five, <clears throat> five multi-site bulk lists ready to go for Tactical Arbitrage. I can start uploading these into Tactical Arbitrage. No other work I have to do uh, and be able to start a scan. So while we're here, let's go ahead and let's upload one of these to Tactical Arbitrage so you can see exactly how to do it. Go to Member Access. And we are going to run into the product search. You can see I already have a search running. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to import. Oops, let me turn off my easy bulk. Uh, I'm going to import a bulk category list, upload a new file, choose file. I'm going to go to my downloads, scroll down to multi. I'm going to go to multi number one. Now we click upload. It's going to grab the source category URL, the first page, the last page, and the source domain. Click Upload there. Give that a moment to upload. You're going to see it's ready to go. Now, what I do here is I'm also going to check UPC products for image matches. I don't have to worry about the website or the category. That's all taken care of with this multi-site bulk category list. And then I'm just going to throw in my last used filters in here. So I've got takeout, uh, I've got 7.5% for my state sales tax for those sites that are not reseller friendly. Uh, I've got uh, current ranks over 400,000, remove out of stock, uh, and then my profit and ROI, etc. and so on. And I'm going to click search. Now, once I do that, it's going to start going through every single one of the 500 uh, categories from the different sites. And then what I can do is I can go in here, press Start New Search. It's going to bring me to a fresh page. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import file number two. So I'm going to go to Multi number two, open that, click on Upload, and Upload again. Give that just a moment. And while I'm here, I might as well get this started and see if I can find some profitable products. Go there, we'll do the last used, and search. So now, within a matter of, what, a minute and 30 seconds, I've been able to set up two multi-site bulk lists uh, with 500 subcategories each from Tactical Bucket into Tactical Arbitrage. This right here alone is worth the admission to tacticalbucket.com. Now, if this is something you want to get your hands on, I've got a link below. Yes, it is an affiliate link. I'm going to be creating a bunch of content around Tactical Bucket because there are some sick tools to be used with Tactical Arbitrage if you are a user. So, click the link below, go over and sign up for an account, check it all out. It's really inexpensive. It starts at 39 bucks a month. You get X paths, multi-store bulk list, ASIN list, and all kinds of things. And then make sure to check back and I will be adding a ton more videos about exactly how to use it inside of Tactical Arbitrage. So I will talk to you guys soon. And until then, good selling.